Ah, oh, it looks so good. It, it sucks it's going away. <laughs> uh, I did a pretty good job on this. Well, how you come is how you go. Ah, oh, it doesn't close. That's it for this car. It is getting dropped off at auction tomorrow. You cannot put any more lipstick on this pig. I mean, it looks a little bit better than when I got it. It runs now, it starts now, it drives, but I personally would not sell this to someone. I don't want them coming back looking for me. So yeah, it's going back to auction. I hate to say it, a lot of time, a lot of money put into this, it's been a few weeks, but uh, not too mad, learned a lot, but uh, yeah, this is done, so it's out of here, man, they loading it up right now, you know, the way you come is the way you go, Kind of sad man I feel like I did a lot of good work on that like if you look at the pictures like it looks way better than it did when it showed up but I'm probably losing money probably like uh, probably like two three thousand but fell forward I guess new cars already in work so whatever be here I know that one's gonna be profitable it would have to get stolen for me to not make no money on it. I only got it for 500. So we about to load up. I'm gonna follow it up there and uh, do the paperwork and all that. So get this finally finished over with off my hands, out of my name, and uh, get on to the next thing. So we about to get up out of here. All right, so let's get into it. I wanna give y'all a full picture of this whole thing so you can see exactly why I'm feeling like I probably won't do another car from the Coke Park. So this is a new uh, lot ad right here. So here it is. See, it looks all right. They, um, see they put run and drive on here as a highlight. I don't know if I agree with that, but okay. Pictures look fine. They didn't really highlight the best side of the car, but it's cool, whatever. Now looking at this, they put front end as the primary damage. Like I'm thinking about that, knowing everything wrong with the car. And then look, secondary is completely blank. Nani? So I've been trying to figure out how they come up with what they put down for primary and secondary damage. So while I was up there, I asked, and you know what the lady told me? She said, we can't provide that information. Basically told me that it was classified. I'm guessing they do like a very basic inspection, like just top level, because there's no way this car should have been listed twice with no secondary damage. That makes no sense. Mind you, the car couldn't move at all. It couldn't turn on on its own. We had to push it everywhere. For it not to have any listing of mechanical, I feel like is super misleading. Like that's, even now that it can actually drive and move, I feel like there should be some sort of mechanical listing on here somewhere. It's not, that probably helps me, but I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of shady. Now let's look at this old, the original ad listing. It actually has the odometer reading on there. Um, and then they put this repossession on here. I'm not sure why that's even there. I don't think it played a role in how the car got there at all, considering the damage that was done to it. I, th that, for all I know, that, that could have been a lure. That's honestly one of the reasons why I thought it was a good deal. 
So I guess you, you can see what I'm getting at here. I don't know how everyone else does their auction cars, but I was not a fan of this. I didn't realize how much I was rolling the dice when I got a card from Copart. But now let's look and see about um, how much money I actually put into this. I won the bid at 6,000. So plus fees and shipping, that puts me at about 8,712. Then there's the money I spent on parts. When I pulled off the, uh, the transmission pan, I found that the ceiling sleeves was cracked to hell. So I went ahead and ordered a full service kit hoping that that would uh, get the car running again which it did I didn't even need the uh, the solenoids that I purchased so those are actually up for sale now so I'll get the money back for those because it's brand new I never opened them then there's the alternator that was I think 149 plus some bolts and um, there was a CSF performance radiator in the car. That's in my car now. So those run for about $600. So I'm actually gonna subtract that from the total price of the car and the money spent. And then the carbon fiber hood that was on the car and the M1 bumper, even though it was fiberglass, I sold them both, made about 200 bucks. So subtracting 800 from the total price of parts if I subtracted like labor or anything that would bring the cost down even more but I don't suspect that anybody would buy a car from auction and not expect to work on it themselves so all together that puts that puts that about 8500 so not that bad considering I was as soon as I bought the car and got it, I was already in 8700 So I got some money out of it already. As long as it sells for 6 k honestly, I'll be, I'll be satisfied. I'll take the loss. I learned a lesson. So it's not that bad. So I actually got the work done relatively quick. It just took a while for me to get this video out. I had a lot going on. Um, family visiting, my grandfather passed, I was out of town, so my bad, you know, if anybody was actually waiting on this, but um, this project is over, it's been fun, I got a lot of good work done, I had it rolling, had it moving, but we're moving on to the next thing, I appreciate anybody who uh, watched this far or have been checking me out, I ask that you guys stay tapped in because I got a lot more stuff coming. Got parts for the 32 just sitting, parts for the Beamer just sitting, We're doing the interior on that. So just keep it locked, man. I got a lot of videos coming. I appreciate y'all again, and uh, I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.